Hello. Welcome to Vacation Bible School at Lafayette Presbyterian. Remember, our theme this week is two fish, five loaves, and one Lord. Today's story is Woofy is Forgiven by Cleo Duncan. It teaches us that being selfish is like being lost. It was Father Bear's birthday. Mother Bear took Wolfie and Benny to the five and ten to buy presents. Wolfie and Benny wanted to buy their own presents for their father. Mother Bear said, while you're looking for presents, I will buy the candy and nuts for the birthday party. Benny wanted to buy his father a bow tie. He found just what he wanted right away. Wolfie didn't know what to buy. He looked at the red handkerchiefs, and he looked at the flashlights, and he looked at a jar of honey, but he didn't buy anything. Then Wolfie found something he wanted very much for himself, a box of colored pencils. He looked at the large boxes of colored pencils, and he looked at the small boxes. Then he looked at the middle-sized boxes. I'll ask Mother to buy the middle-sized box of colored pencils, Wolfie said. Then when Mother Bear came to find Wolfie and Benny, Have you bought Father's present? she asked Wolfie. Not yet, Wolfie said. Will you buy me a box of colored pencils, Mother? Not today, Mother Bear said. You have colored pencils at home. But I want another box, Wolfie said. I want a middle-sized one. Mother Bear started to walk away, and Wolfie started to cry. Come, Wolfie, Mother Bear said. We must get Father's birthday cake ready for the party. It's time to start home. Wolfie did not want to go home. He started to cry louder. I want the pencils, he said. I want the pencils now. Mother Bear said, come, Wolfie, aren't you going to buy Mother Father's birthday present? You never buy me anything, Wolfie said. You just never buy me anything. Benny came running from the other side of the store. He wanted to find out why Wolfie was making so much noise. Why are you crying, Wolfie? Mother Bear did not know what to do. She had never seen Wolfie act like this since he was a little baby. Stop crying, Wolfie. All the bears in the store are looking at us. Wolfie did not stop crying. He wanted his mother to buy a box of colored pencils for him. Come, Wolfie, Mother Bear said. We're going home. She took Wolfie's paw and started for the door. Wolfie pulled his paw away from Mother Bear. He took the middle-sized box of colored pencils. I'll buy them for myself, he said. Father wants me to have them. Mother Bear did not say anything. The Lady Bear took Benny's money, and she smiled at him. The Lady Bear took Wolfie's money, but she did not smile at him. Wolfie was still crying. The three bears started for home. Mother Bear did not say anything. Benny Bear did not say anything. What Wolfie said was not very nice. When they got home, Mother Bear said, Wolfie, go to your room. Then Mother Bear and Benny started to get the birthday party ready for Father. Benny put the candy and the nuts in dishes, and Mother set the table and made the cake. Father Bear came home from work. He was smiling from ear to ear. Today was his birthday, and he knew his family was, would make something special for him, just for him. But when he got home, Mother Bear looked sad, and Benny Bear looked sad. Why such long faces, Father Bear asked. Aren't, we going to, aren't you going to wish me a happy birthday? Mother Bear and Benny Bear said, happy birthday. They weren't very 
they didn't sound very happy. Mother Bear said it started out to be happy day, but in the end, it didn't end that way. I had to send Woofy to his room. In his room, Woofy was sad. He took the colored pencils out of the box. He didn't need any more colored pencils. He had all he needed. He didn't have a present to give Father Bear. Woofy was sorry for what he had done. I'll tell Father I'm sorry. I don't have a present for him. And I'll tell Mother I'm sorry I cried and spent my money for colored pencils. Then Wolfie said, I know. I can wash and wipe the dishes. That will be a little present. Father Bear, Mother Bear, and Benny sat down to eat dinner. Father looked at the pretty birthday cake. He looked at the candy and the nuts. Then he said, I'm going to get Wolfie. Father Bear went to Wolfie's room. He put his arms around Wolfie. Then he took Wolfie's paw and said, Come, the birthday party is ready to start. Wolfie did not want to come. He said, You have to have it without me. Silly, Father Bear said. We can't have a happy birthday party without you. Wolfie told Father how bad he had been at the five and ten. He told him about the colored pencils, and I didn't buy you a present. Then Wolfie said, started to cry. He stopped and said, I'll wash and wipe the dishes tonight so you and Mother can celebrate. Father Bear picked Wolfie up and put him under his arm. Wolfie wiggled and squirmed, but he tr began to smile. At the table, Mother Bear smiled. She put the biggest chicken drumstick on Wolfie's plate. Benny said, that's not fair. Wolfie was bad. I helped get ready for the party. I should have the biggest drumstick. Father said, you can have all the chicken you want, Benny. You've been very good. Mother gave the biggest drumstick to Wolfie to show him that we love him and forgive him. Then Mother Bear and Benny and Wolfie gave Father Bear a very happy birthday party. Today's story helps us remember that Jesus loves us generously and we should generously love others. And remember our theme, two fishes, five loaves, one Lord.